The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to the Silent Hill 3 playthrough. I believe this is what, episode 4? Okay, um, let's double back and make sure we have everything we need. Pretty sure we got everything in here, right? Yeah, did we get this walnut thing? Yeah, we did. I guess I gotta just check my inventory, but that's fine. Okay, now to remember what to do next. So I think what we need to do is we need to go up here and then we'll go in that. Okay, whatever. We'll check. I always like look at all the rooms anyway. Memory isn't too great on some of these subjects. Okay, what's up here? Oh, camera's freaking out. Oh, one shot, knock it down. Ah, oh, you little thing. I've gotta run around so I can get a clear shot at it. There we go. Okay. Taking that thing out. Waiting for that music to stop being so creepy. How much ammo do I have? Probably nothing. I think I just ran out. Health, first aid, yeah. I'll be able to get more in a bit, but yeah, this thing is useless to me now. Um, oh wait, no, I have eight shots in it. Okay, good, good, good. All right, now that thing's dead. Take a look at this thing, it's locked. Door is a red crescent and a round dent. Something's written here in the same color red. Piling up the 300th day and night from beyond the door, cries of pain are heard, and the final destination has become real, though not a blessed beginning. I don't know what that means, but I think the walnut has something to do with that uh, crescent thing right there. Uh, not this door, which one was it? This door? No. And it's this one, okay. Okay. Yuck, dude. What is this, barbecue dog? Yeah, barbecue demon dog, ew. Who the hell would make something like this? Furthermore, who the hell would eat it? There's something in the dog's stomach. Oh, that cooked key. Totally gross. I don't know why she'd be reaching in this dog's stomach, but maybe it was just visually obvious to her. Nothing else to worry about here other than who the hell is sick enough to do something like this, that is, even, uh, and even that, I'd really just rather not know. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, what else we got in this room? There's a disgusting smell coming from the pot. Yeah. No gross juice. Oh, here's some things. Health drink. Okay. Is this a door? No. Looks like it could be pushed, though, doesn't it? Seems like something's missing from here. Rows of wine bottles. I don't really feel like eating and drinking stuff from an alternate reality. That's weird. She knows that she's in an alternate reality? That's curious. Is that an ampule? I can't tell if that's uh, something that I can take. Just a normal wine glass. Oh, okay, I see. Gotcha. Plates on the shelf, nothing of interest. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm trying to hit, like, the X button to get past that, but just re-highlights the door and makes a text pop up again. Doesn't really look that bad outside. I always wondered, with the characters in Silent Hill, like, they have some sort of mission that they're trying to, or a journey they need to go on. But what happens if you were in this alternate reality and you just ran off in, like, the opposite direction? Would you eventually be consumed? Or would you just, like, live in Silent Hill? Then again, it's not clear to her what this is, although she did recognize it as an alternate reality, but she doesn't know it's Silent Hill yet, so... At least I don't think so. Okay, this is, all right, this is the mannequin room. We were already in here and we killed these things, so that's good. I don't think, oh, the corpses, again, I'm telling you, it's so surprising. The corpses always just stay behind. Okay, unlock that. I think there was a, okay, we need to go directly in the big brown door. Okay, the cook key was for that, there we go. 
Okay, a couple things in here that are useful. Oh, we got some health items here. How many? Two? One? Two? That's it. Could use some bullets, though. Come on, game. Hook it up. Hook up the bullets. Ah, the lead pipe. I don't know how soon we'll need to use that. Um, I should be getting some bullets here soon. Just want to double check and look around. A lot of really gross stuff in the background. Oh god. Yeah, it's in the mall. Where am I? Hmm. Oh, okay, there's not really anything in this room, is there? Not seeing anything that I can take or use, okay. Can I take that? What is that? Oh, it's just a dusty sponge, I see. here. Locked. shut tight op won't open at all it has like the wooden block yeah just remove the wooden block why would you not see anything in here nope always check the room damn it camera hmm. silent hill ambiance terrifying here. Oh, hey, sweet. Okay. Get some bullies. Wonderful. And jerky. I don't even know if I'm going to end up needing this. Um, reload you. Okay. Continue on. Playing this game smart, I feel like I would uh, conserve my bullets and not kill so many things. So many things that I've encountered, but I don't know. Couldn't help myself. I just felt like I needed to fight back, you know. Check that door in a minute. I feel like that one might be an important door. Does the floor fall out right here? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay. We already had that interaction with another earlier cot. If that door was indented in here, I would think that you can go into it. What about you, Mr. Blue? Nope. Oh, okay, that just leaves this one. Oh god. Oh, yeah. Is there anything in here that I can use? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Sweet God, I forgot about this room. This is a awful place to be right now. Oh God. This door? <gasps> Thank God. I didn't even bother looking around to see if there was anything useful. Uh, I just straight up ran like a coward. See, these are all torture devices, aren't they? 
jackals here to look pretty broken. Broken in. That stain on the restraint is shaped like a human's. Wait. I don't want to even think about uh, what this platform is used for. How does she know this is an alternate reality? I mean, oh, there's a safe point. I mean, obviously that's the case. I know that. You probably know that. But how does she know that? Oh yeah, here we go. This thing to break the walnut. There's a sort of vice here. Oh, yeah, fine. Make me select. Uh, you know what? We will equip that for now. Is it in supplies? Oh, it's probably in items. Crunchy crunch. A no nut in the walnut shell, just a jewel. The moonstone. Yeah, I think that's what that was for the door. Um, can I go through this one? I might have to double back now. Double check. Uh, what is this trash? No, it smells different somehow. Wait, what did it say? Like blood or rotting meat. So this might be indeed. Okay, let's go ahead and save it. I got here much quicker than I thought that I would. Jeez. Second floor walkway. Yes. Sp wait. Sports shop? What the heck does it mean by sports shop? This isn't a sports shop. There's nothing in here that's sporty. I want to run out there and explore that area, but there's a lot of monsters. I just want to see... Oh god, anything is useful here. Unlock you. How fast is this thing? Oh god. Oh, horrible. Truly awful. Oh god. Um, okay. Well, uh... From here? I don't know. Do I go back and put the moonstone in? I'm not sure. That giant, like, spinning creature... Yikes, my man. Yikes. I had, like, looked like blades for arms. Okay, where am I? Safe point there. Blocked off. Blocked off. Hmm. I just don't know. Might have to double back. See if I can go get that moonstone spot. I think that's what I have to do. If memory serves me correct. Which sometimes it does. Oftentimes it doesn't. Oh, that's the fan. Hell. Hard to run this direction. There we go. Was it the blue door I came from? Looks like it. Sponge. Thought it was a brick that I could throw as like a distraction or something, but nope. Sponge. Ah, crap. And the now I think. Oh god, that's so loud in my ear. Too much, man. Too much. I don't know if I am supposed to go all the way back, but it's not really that hard to to get through this right now, so I'm not too worried if I'm wrong. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Crap. Went the wrong way. Oh, jeez. be this way. Damn it. What door was it? This one? Yes. Phew. I, I got lucky. Running through all that. I don't know how many diff how many hits it takes to hit that thing, that giant fleshy monster with the pipe. I really don't know. Curious to know how many times I'd have to hit it with the steel pipe for it to go down. You know what I mean? Curious. 
Okay, so the dog was defeated. I think this is where the stone goes. And the corpse is still there. Nope. What the hell? Why was it freaking out like that? That was scary. That scared me. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, come on. I think this is where it goes, wouldn't you think? So, Moonstone in the door. Okay. Now, this is unlocked. That's good. Okay. But, I don't want to jump into that yet. Just yet. God, those dogs. We already killed the one. Why is it making noise like there's a bunch more, you know? Okay, and then we'll save it right here. All right, my friends, thus completes today's rather short episode, or tonight's rather, uh, episode of Silent Hill 3. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the like button uh, if you want to support the video. Subscribe to the, or hit the subscribe, subscribe button if you want us to support the channel. I can't talk right now. And if you have any feedback or tips, tricks, hints, or just overall suggestions, be sure to leave it down in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you tomorrow when we continue the playthrough of Silent Hill 3. New episodes nightly at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, part of the Mark After Dark segment of the Mark 9 channel. Thanks again for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. Be well. I'll see you later.